welcome to my video blog about my experience at the Singing Mamas Choir Leader Retreat Weekend. Singing Mamas was founded by Kate Valentine. It started with a handful of women in a hall singing together and now, nine years on, it's a nationwide movement of choirs with over 20 choirs and growing and plans to spread to America. The Singing Mamas ethos is a special approach to singing together. All women, in a circle, no auditions, babies and children welcome, women of all ages in a judgment-free, women supporting women space. It's a style of singing called natural voice singing, which is about celebrating the voice you have rather than training it to some idea of perfection. It's also part of a wider movement of singing for well-being which sees singing and singing together in choirs as part of the healthcare system. Have you heard of social prescribing? Social prescribing, or otherwise known as community referral, is when GPs, nurses, or other healthcare practitioners can refer a patient to local non-clinical treatment, like joining a choir. With a growing recognition that people's health is determined by a number of factors, social, economic and environmental. Social prescribing seeks to support people's health in a holistic way. There are more and more studies happening which show the health benefits of singing and especially singing together. Research demonstrates that community singing can improve health in a number of ways. It can alleviate the negative impact of loneliness. It can improve self-esteem and it can be used as an alternative to antidepressants. So that's a bit about Singing Mamas and the Singing Mamas ethos and now about me. I'm a singer and songwriter and I've been writing and recording songs for over 10 years but singing with a group of women is something very new to me and a little bit daunting but I was so encouraged and inspired by the Singing Mamas ethos and all this amazing research that I had to give it a go. This video blog shows my experience of the Singing Mamas choir leader retreat training so come along with me and see what it's like to sing in a circle of women and learn to lead a choir. Good morning! We are in the car, about to drive to Forest Row. Welcome, welcome to the Sussex countryside in autumn. Isn't it absolutely stunning? We've arrived here at Emerson College. Spot the teeny tiny pheasant. Laura, don't kill the pheasant. We're here at Emerson College in Forest Row. I'm about to check in at reception and meet the lovely Kate. It's very magical walking around here and there's lots of different buildings and studios with different artists in. Um, you can see here beautiful paintings outside. And this is where we are in this lovely Eurythmy house. Kate said to bring your instruments and I think I might have gone a bit overboard because I've got a bag full of shakers and my keyboard and my guitar because the more instruments the merrier as far as I'm concerned. So we've just arrived here for the first day. What can we expect on day one? Deep dive, deep dive into harmony. Everyone quite instantly will suddenly be just taken over. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous today because sure. it's um, I'm a bit out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I've done a lot of singing before, but not in a group and not in harmony. What would you say to somebody who is new to this and who's thinking about coming to a choir or who's thinking about doing your training? Yeah. Well, I would say that you're completely not on your own. All of us, including me, um, know exactly how you feel, have been exactly in that same place. It's very rare that a woman steps in with confidence. So trust us, Just if you have this desire to step in through the door, whether to just kind of take part in a choir or to step into song sharing and leading if you have the desire that's enough and we'll take care of the rest we're making it all you know we're, we're taking care of it so that you can belong that's great advice and saying that let's go and step in the door Rachel, 
Hello. We've, we've just met here at the Singing Mamas Retreat. What do you like about the Singing Mamas approach? Oh, I love how connected it was, yes. how it's led just kind of a bit of a song at a time and it just all comes together and it was very transforming and lovely and a bit less rigid and formal than trying to really precisely learn things from sheets, which is a bit more like study than just being with other people and other women. <laughs> Great. Hello. Let's think of some different <laughs> questions I'll ask you. What inspired you to come? But my sister is the person who inspired me to come. Oh, lovely. Because she sings in a Singing Mamas group and one of the ones that Kate runs and loves it and finds it this incredible community experience. Part, part of the draw for me is I actually work as a GP oh. and uh, the, I know of singing groups near where I work that are targeted at certain groups of patients. So it's this wonderful well-being intervention and wow. I'm interested in, in how I can make that happen in more places. It's break time and we're going to have some delicious homemade cake by Kate's husband. We've just had the first session of the day and it was absolutely lovely. I'm feeling very nourished already. Rachel was brave enough to share her song. You just stepped up straight away. How was the experience? It was lovely. It was daunting. Yes. Um, I didn't know how it was going to go. We never do. It came together. We just stuck with it. Everyone got the bits gradually. It all came together. And by the end, it's just there. I'm like, oh. Oh, it felt it's so good. amazing. to do stuff outside of church for a long time because I love church and church is amazing but I'm so passionate about building community and just being with these beautiful women who are so open and just so yeah ready to just go it was just amazing so everybody here gets an opportunity to share a song and we're all waiting for the right moment to share ours and maybe in the next session it will be my turn I was scared to film my own one. <laughs> so is this the You're Amazing area? Yeah. So We are about to have our dinner all together now. I'm feeling still a little bit spinning <clears throat> and my throat's gone after sharing my song with everyone but I feel really proud of myself and it's showed me that I can step out of my comfort zone and I'm looking forward to our delicious dinner. Uh, delicious
say to anyone who's watching this who's seen these little clips of us singing and thinking, oh my gosh, I thought I could never do that. I thought I could never do that and I just did it. So I hope what you've seen so far encourages you to give it a try. Good morning, it is day two. We just started the day with some relaxing and rejuvenating yoga. Day two, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, so yesterday was a deep dive and it was such a rich day. I can't believe I've only done half a day because I feel so, it's been such a big experience Stretch already. Yeah. So what's, what's today going to look like? Just working with what's already opening, what's open for people. Some people have had quite a eye-opening experience into just the simplicity of showing simple, simple harmonies of women. I have a plan and I know what I'm going to deliver, yes. but it always comes out of what's present right there out of that particular moment. The, the learning was so natural, yeah. it wasn't rigid going through things, it's um, everybody's own experience yeah. that formed the teaching. Yeah, and everyone who dares to step up and teach their song, even if they, they feel incredibly nervous, um, whatever they moments they come unstuck or if there's any discomfort which they, they're instantly aware that the whole circle are with them and they want them to they want them to do well. We are joined by Eugenie. Eugenie's been with Singing Mama's Choir for a while mm -hmm. and has set up her own choir in Brighton. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about your Singing Mama's journey? Well, basically I got pregnant and I was trying to go back to singing in a choir, which is something I've done for years and years. And it was a bit difficult and then it got more difficult when I had the little one and I thought, oh, that's a bit of a shame. So I tried to find a group and I found um, Kate's choir in Lewis, which was that bit too far for me. So I thought, why don't I try to create a local choir in my community so I registered to be a choir leader, to do the training as a choir leader last June. And uh, I set up my choir in September and I'm looking to um, set up a second one in Brighton, a bit more central in Brighton um, for the new year. During the breaks here, there's plenty of opportunity to have a nice cuppa and contemplate whilst walking around the grounds because this work we're doing with the singing is much bigger. What I've really experienced and learned over the last couple of days is about letting go and allowing something bigger to move through me because I can be a control freak. <laughs> you didn't know. We are swiftly moving through the day and Kate just presented us the overall vision and plan for singing mamas. This work is really important and for something like this to spread it needs to be organised and structured and she's doing that too. Classic Laura got all teary in the sharing because I've suffered really badly in the past with feeling alone and experiencing depression, suicidal depression and if I'd had something like this, a community of women, you can't feel alone in this kind of environment and that's why it's so crucial and needed at this time. You're here on the little horse. We've had a 12 hour day. We started singing at nine and we stopped singing at nine with a few little breaks in between. It's been absolutely crazy intense hearing beautiful songs from all over the world. Morning has broken like the first morning. Just stepping out of the manor after having a lovely breakfast and having done some yoga and I'm going back down to Eurythmy House. It, the group has an amazing dynamic after having spent so many hours together. We've really bonded. Everyone's filtering in to the building.
good day, I'd yeah, like yeah. you to meet my best friend from the weekend. <laughs> this is Bjorn. How's it been having your son here at the weekend? It's been today has been going really well, and I feel like many women have stepped in and helped out, and which yes. has been really great. So I know uh, Kate is quite grateful for it because obviously singing mamas is about having babies around. Yes, and, and he, he's a super he active. He so much fun. He really <laughs> did. I really like singing here, but I really like the tea breaks because the, we have an epic tea selection and always amazing cake. Welcome to Laura's herbal tea dream. Every flavor, every flavor. Have we got two cakes, Kate? Yeah. What have we got here? This is gluten free, dairy free, uh, what's the other thing free? Egg? Uh, sugar free. Sugar -free. <laughs> Chocolate, it's got cashews and buckwheat and it's divine. Wow. And this is uh, blueberry, raspberry and custard with all the wheat and green you can ever do. Okay. <laughs> Our lovely ward, now full of beautiful songs which I will carry preciously in my heart and in my mind. We're leaving now. What? Tell me about how the experience was for you, Lucy. Oh, the experience for me has been uh, uh, magical, uh, magical and life-changing. So I feel like fully like I've gone like through a really unexpected trauma release and deep healing of so many things that I thought I had cleared. Yeah, we've been <laughs> through the pressure cooker. We have! <laughs> this weekend's been a very intensive weekend and we're leaving now. How do you feel after this weekend? What's, what's, what has this weekend gifted you? I feel excited because there's so much that came up and I feel that I found my own voice, the strength of my voice I didn't know I had. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. So we're about to leave, Tina. How was this weekend for you? Wow, um, really nourishing. I've learnt lots. Would massively recommend it to anybody. I'm so chuffed with my certificate, look at my certificate. I've been recharged, re-energised and inspired and I cried loads but good crying. All, all good things must come to an end and I look forward to carrying what I learn and the feelings I experience out into the universe. Kate, Hi. thank you so much. <laughs> this weekend's been absolutely amazing. The feelings that have been experienced and the transformation that people have gone through, it's been very powerful. How do you feel after this? Uh, I, f I feel um, like I always do after every training. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty mind blowing actually to witness each individual woman's journey. Have you got any advice for me or that, you know, for all the other women about how do we, carry this precious feeling this precious energy I don't think it can be forgotten actually I think um, what's been shared this kind of non this non-judgmental space where women are supporting each other and this is this is at the heart of the work and we're creating circles and we're you know everyone's now belonging to the to the wider circle of single mamas leaders the community of leaders but do what you love just keep doing it keep doing it more um, it's what we always used to do mm. Do what you love, that's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kate. Thanks again for an amazing My pleasure. weekend. Thank you for coming along. We can do marvellous, we can do marvellous things. Yes, we can. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to find out more about Singing Mamas, please visit singingmamasquiet.com where you can find out about their upcoming retreats choir leader training and you can find and join a choir near you. If you like this video please subscribe, press the shiny red button below to be updated with further videos from me. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and if you'd like to stay in touch with me I also send out emails and you can sign up for my email newsletter at lauralam.com. All the links are below the video. May you have a beautiful day. Bye!